Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're gonna be watching a Moto Stars video where a lot of people crashes, bad kitty crash. We're gonna just gonna talk about the crashes. So let's jump right into it. So Bled Jan, we will start. Nikolai, here we go. Into the bike and made a mistake, and was quite lucky that the driver noticed him at the right time. All right, so we got an intersection. We found a vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and swerve left a little bit. Great job on the planning. He located that hazard, adapted to it. This was kind of like a red stage where he had to swerve a little bit, but thankfully it was at a lower speed and was able to handle it. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this was going on. So right now we're in yellow stage. We're prepped and ready for anything. We're just, we're zoned in. We're not zoned out. Zoning out is not a good thing. We need to zone into what we're doing. So now we're zoned in. We're, we're having a good time. We're coming up. Moto Stars is going to talk. Made a mistake and was quite lucky that the so right now I'm starting to see that there's some uh, some buildings. So more than likely we could have other vehicles. Him and the right time. All right. So I see a little bit here. Looks like an intersection coming up. So once we see an intersection, especially when we're going through a turn, is that we're going to go into orange stage. Now this is the whole color code chart that we have here at the MTC Rider Academy. So make sure you guys join up we're planning a ride we're positioned for safety locating hazards adapting to hazards and hopefully never have to navigate but he's having to navigate here so slowed down rolled off the throttle did not panic we're going to start doing some progressive brake pressure so he's going to be squeeze 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 hoping to slow down in time because we don't have a ton of total stopping distance between this vehicle and then us right here so the goal is to slow it down to buy ourselves some time and then make another choice. You can always make multiple choices depending on the situation. And situations like this change quickly. So we're getting up to here. It's like we are not going to be able to stop in time. Now we do have escape paths if we truly needed to utilize these escape paths. Now this escape path right here is just to continue on and move on here. It looks like this vehicle was in our lane and then realized I shouldn't and they tried to go to the next lane. So we can do an escape, we can uh, continue braking and find out what happens. So this is definitely gonna be a red stage maneuver. We're actively engaged in something that we have to do something or something bad will happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So he's slowing down. Now he's starting to make that choice of my total stopping distance is not good enough. So remember perception, reaction, braking. So the braking distance isn't good enough his perception to see it react was really good just not enough time because of the speed involved in the other vehicle it's just the situation so now he's going to make a different choice he's going to go ahead and swerve into an escape path and that's exactly what happened so he's going to swerve and now we're going to go over here good swerve so anyways we're going through here and then we're going to go ahead and find a safe area and then slow it down because now we got to be careful we got to figure out what's going on and he's gonna go ahead and calm his nerves because you're gonna be pissed, you're gonna be high anxiety, you're gonna have a lot of adrenaline going on and that's gonna ruin the rest of your ride. So go ahead and take a break for about 10 minutes. Breathe, 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 and then get back onto your ride. Now we're gonna be jumping into THZ. We're gonna be going a little fast for the area, not something I would do, sharp left turn because we do have those chevrons. We lost some traction on that rear tire because he was applying a lot of braking because he saw that. So if you slowed it down, you would have seen it ahead of time. So bad kitty time. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and crash again with the Maxorus crew. Like this. Let's see what's happening here. So we're going to go ahead and do a wheelie, I think, because there we go. Wheelie going a little far. Uh, his 360 camera will not keep him up. And there's the crash into our tailbone, which is called your coccyx. Uh, you could easily break that, and it's going to be painful to take a poo-poo in the future. And there's the crash. Thankfully, it seems like things are fine, and he's got, they got, he, the rider's got full leathers. It's full leathers. So there's the abrasion, re the abrasion resistance that it has is going to be very, very good. So. Once again, uh, if you ever see your buddy crash, make sure you grab yourself a rescue pack so that you can hopefully stop any major bleeds. But this is a, a no bueno situation. Uh, I don't know how these people get this, these mini bikes. So throttle therapy, here we go. We got a lot of red lights. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. Look for that escape, look for that escape. Found the escape, moving on, moving on. Find another escape. Watch out for anybody merging over like that. Move over, position, position, position. That's an air horn. That is not the stock horn, and that is good. So when I say don't honk, I really truly mean don't honk with your dumb, dumb little horn, but that guy just did something dumb right there. It kind of caught my attention. Get an air horn. Get an air horn. 
All right, so we got a sharp right turn coming up ahead. It's blind. We're just doing a lot of power wheelies because I think we're bored just being this slow behind our friend. But it should not be a problem because our friend is probably having fun too. Don't know what happened there. So coffee bean 1980 going around a sharp turn. Hit a little bump. I see some cracks in the road. We got a sharp left turn. Don't go flying. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Please, please, please don't hit. And last second, we hit some gravel. Probably lost traction because we did a lot of brake pressure too. Michael gave himself no chance. Of Sulab vlogs. All right, he's saying slow it down, but he didn't take care of himself. That's one of the biggest things. You're telling your buddies to slow it down. Take care of yourself. So I just let's take a look at this situation right here. We can't see nothing. Can't see nothing around that corner. If you can't see nothing around that corner, we need to slow ourselves down. We need to make sure that we are doing what is needed. This is definitely an orange stage moment where, hmm, I'm, my gut is telling me I need to do something and that something should be to slow it down, okay? So when you slow it down, you have a better braking distance. It's a lot longer, so you have more time to react to something. So blind corners are pretty scary. Any corners, uh, definitely orange stage, but this one is, is really perking my, uh, my, my brain. Up. So now we come around, and this is exactly why. He sped around that corner, does not have a lot of time to react. He's trying to help his buddy by saying, hey, slow it down. That's great and all, but you're the one that needs to swerve too. So at this point, it's a red stage maneuver. We got to get ourselves in a good escape path. We got to get ourselves in a better area because we don't, we don't want to deal with this. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay. This, this is a scary situation on a mountain. His friend with his right so he should have swerved. He should have slowed it down. That right hand is a primary control. Okay, that's our front brake and our throttle. Engine braking isn't going to help you here. We need to actually use good progressive brake pressure. We need to be braking, braking, braking. We talk more about that in depth on the MTC Rider Academy. Uh, Make sure you guys join. Make sure you join. Oh, no, no. So he seems to be fine. Oh, no, no. Hopefully no injuries. Hopefully no problems. Dad should be good to go here we go so adrian uh going through town the buddy went a little bit too fast it looks like there's something refl yeah, reflecting liquid probably hit something this is why we try to minimize as many factors going fast around a corner is one factor liquid on the ground is another factor uh having to poop really bad is another factor so make sure you reduce as many of those oh no dogs nicola halliday we just skipped that one um moving through here all right, so that person did something stupid, shouldn't have done that. And we did a good job planning a ride, got ourselves out of that situation. Hey, pretty good, pretty good, really good. All right, this looks like California almost to me, like San Diego area. Anyways, uh, side of the vehicle, another air horn. Hey, we saw the side of the vehicle, trying to get ourselves out of that situation. We did a good job, we weren't speeding, so not many factors involved outside of just the driver. So he did a great job being a smart rider. Went a little bit too fast. Okay, they're switching lanes too. Hey, if you want to switch lanes, just anticipate that they are too. Uh, commutes, okay, we're gonna be commuting around. We got intersection side of the vehicle right there. Big white van, easy to see. Oh, there's the- Thanks for watching till the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon in the next video. Motostars, I can't see what happened. So there's the trailer. Now you see it. 